All glory to the Father in the name above every name, Jesus Christ. He told me, now that you've painted the picture, tell the story. So here it is, the true rapture story. Starring Jesus Christ. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And God created the heaven and the earth. And God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. And there's a place on earth and it's called Israel and it's the apple of God's eye. And he said, blessed are those who bless Israel and cursed are those who curse Israel. And before that, he created his angels and they witnessed him creating the heavens and earth. And then Yahuwah, our father God, created man and woman from man. And as time passed, a woman named Rebekah was born. And Rebekah was married to Isaac. And she gave birth to twin boys named Esau and Jacob. And Jacob knew a man named Laban. And Laban had two daughters, Rachel and Leah. And Jacob really liked Rachel. So he worked for Laban for seven years to take her hand in marriage. But he tricked Jacob. And he told Jacob, according to tradition, he had to marry Leah because she was the oldest. And they started having children. And one of their sons was named Levi. And Levi means united, joined, joined in harmony. And Levi, he started one of the 12 tribes of Israel. And Leah also gave birth to a daughter. And her name was Dinah. And they had a bunch more kids. And Laban told Jacob that if he worked another seven years, he would give him Rachel. And he loved Rachel more than Leah, so he worked another seven years for her. And then they had kids, children. Rachel gave birth. And there used to be a king of Israel called Saul. And Saul... He was 30 years old when he became the king of Israel. And there was a giant at the time named Goliath that wanted to conquer Israel and Jerusalem. And King Saul was afraid of him. And everyone was afraid of him, except for the young shepherd boy, David. And long story short, David defeated the giant and became the king of Israel. After Saul became prideful and he disobeyed God, and he only obeyed part of what God's instructions were. So David took the crown when he was 30 years old. And he had a servant named Asaph that helped him write the book of Psalms. And eventually, he gave the crown to his son, Solomon. And Asaph served him too. And King Solomon wrote the rest of the book of Psalms. And there once lived a prophet named Jeremiah, and the people were becoming wicked. So Jeremiah pronounced God's judgment upon the people for their wickedness. And he had more to say about repentance than any other prophet. And there used to be a prophetess, too, named Miriam. And she's famous for helping deliver baby Moses from the Nile River. And she had a brother named Aaron. And Aaron made some mistakes, like all of us do. But he was the traditional founder of the head of the Israelite priesthood. And Aaron and Miriam helped their brother Moses lead the Israelites out of Egypt. After God told Moses to go to the Pharaoh and tell him that he said to let his people go, that they may serve him. And there was another prophet named Elijah in Hebrew. And in Greek, his name is Elias. And God performed many miracles through Elijah, including resurrection, bringing fire down from the sky, and being raptured by a whirlwind of fire. And the saga continued, the true story of heroic achievements. And then one day, three wise men came from the east to Jerusalem, and the first wise man's name was Caspar. And the wise men said, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. 
And then they departed, and lo, the star, which they saw in the east, went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. And when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, they fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. And when they departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph, Mary's husband, in a dream, saying, Arise! and take the young child and his mother and flee to Egypt. And be thou there until I bring thee word. And when he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night and departed into Egypt. And there was a woman named Annette. And Annette means Anna. And she was the only female prophet named in the New Testament. And Anna means up. And she was a woman of faith. And when she seen the child, Yeshua, Jesus Christ, she prophesied that he was the promised Messiah and recognized that the child was the Savior of the world. And our Father God in heaven knew that a lot of people were going to be hellbound. And he loved the world so much that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth him should not perish but have everlasting life. So he sent his child, Jesus Christ himself, God in the flesh. Because if you want something done right, you got to do it yourself. But he had help, his cousin, John the Baptist. So John prepared the way for the Lord. And Jesus Christ said that John had the spirit of Elijah. Then Jesus Christ became a man and he knew it was time to start his ministry. So he left Galilee and went to Jordan to have John baptize him. And Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straightway out of the water, and lo, the heavens were opened unto him. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove. And lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. And then Jesus Christ went to the desert and fasted for 40 days and 40 nights and was tempted of the devil. And the devil tried to have him bow down and worship him. And he bribed him. And Jesus answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. And then he started his three and a half year long ministry and began to heal people, and feed people, and preach the truth. Then his cousin John the Baptist was arrested and thrown into prison. And the king's wife at the time, Herodias, conspired and arranged the execution of John the Baptist. But Jesus Christ kept pushing, and taught everyone, including us, how to pray. And he said, pray like this, Our Father, which art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thy is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. And Jesus went to the coasts of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. But he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she crieth after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. And she didn't even call him Yeshua or Jesus. She called him Son of David. And Jesus Christ answered and said, It is not meet to take the children's bread and to cast it to the dogs. And she said, Truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith, be it unto thee even as thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. And I got the Holy Spirit all over me. Praise you, Father. And Jesus Christ continued preaching. And he said, Take no thought of your life, 
what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body what ye shall put on. Is not the life more than meat and the body the raiment? Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? Which of you taking thought can add one cubit unto his stature? And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, they toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat or what shall we drink? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. But first seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. And he chose certain men to be his apostles. And he told them, Follow me. And one of them was a tax collector named Matthew that worked for the Romans, and he quit his job and followed Jesus Christ. And some of them were fishermen, and he said, Drop the nets and follow me. And they did until one of them, Judas, betrayed him for 30 pieces of silver because they wanted him dead for the things that he said, because he said he was the son of man, the son of God. So they wanted him dead, but they didn't want to do the dirty work, so they handed him over to Pilate. And Pilate said, why? What evil hath he done? But they cried out the more, saying, let him be crucified. And Pilate washed his hands and said, I am innocent of the blood of this just person. See ye to it. Then answered all the people and said, His blood be on us and on our children. And they tortured and beat Jesus Christ and eventually nailed him to the cross and crucified him. And God shed his blood and died for us so we could be born again and washed by his blood white as snow when we believe in him. And right after Jesus was crucified, a different Saul that became Paul consented to have Stephen stoned to death. And he became the first martyr after Jesus Christ. And on the third day, he rose from death and conquered death in the grave. But not all of his apostles believed that he was alive. Didymos, Thomas, couldn't believe it because Thomas wasn't with them when Jesus Christ came. So the other disciples said to him, we have seen the Lord. But he said unto them, except I shall see in his hands the prints of the nails and put my finger into the print of the nails and thrust my hand into his side, I will not believe. And after eight days, again, his disciples were within and Thomas with them. Then came Jesus, the doors being shut, and stood in the midst and said, Peace be unto you. Then saith he to Thomas, Reach hither thy finger, and behold my hands, and reach hither thy hand, and thrust it into my side, and be not faithless, but believing. And Thomas answered and said unto him, My Lord and my God. And Jesus said unto him, Thomas, Didymus, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed. And Saul had a high position and believed the Old Testament, but he didn't believe that Jesus was the Christ. So he started persecuting his apostles and followers. And he went after them on the road to Damascus. And Jesus Christ blinded him. But then he sent Ananias to lay hands on him. And he was healed. So he blinded Saul so he could open his eyes so he could see. And then Saul was born again and he became Paul and worked harder than all and built all the churches in the New Testament. And there was a sister named Rhoda. She was a servant in the household of Mary. Her name means Rose. And she was the first person to hear Peter after God freed him from prison. She was an encourager. And she was moved by the Spirit and encouraged the people. And there was another sister named Lydia. And she was famous for her purple dye. 
and dyeing clothing purple. And she let Paul and them take refuge in her house. And after Stephen was stoned, they killed all the apostles except for John. And they tried killing him too and boiled him in oil. And he was removed unscathed. So they exiled him to the island Patmos. And then Jesus Christ lifted him up in the spirit and gave him revelation and the little book to eat so he could write the book of Revelation. And remember, Jesus Christ said the signs of his coming would be in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. And that was before John ate the little book and said, chapter three, verse three, remember therefore how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. And there was a city behind the summit, the new Jerusalem and agenda 2030, the seven year covenant. It ends on the same day as the revelation 12 sign, September 19th, 2023 revelation chapter 12. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. And she being with child cried, travailing in birth and pain to be delivered. And there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his heads. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth. And the comet Nishimura that was discovered on 8-11 this year swings its tail and heads straight for the star that was discovered exactly 70 years before this comet Nishimura. And that star is called Gel, and it means Wormwood. And Revelation 8-11 is Wormwood. And the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered for to devour her child as soon as it was born. And she brought forth a man-child who was to rule all nations with the rod of iron. And her child was caught up unto God and to his throne. Jesus Christ is coming to get us. Adiona, to approach or visit. Someone who presides over bringing children home safely. Our beloved, beloved, Jesus Christ. He's coming to get us. And it's going to be a lovely day. Hebrews 10, 37. For yet a little while, and he that shall come will come and will not tarry. Habakkuk chapter 2. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry.